At the beginning of December, the Emeka robot was introduced to social networks. The British company Engineered Arts has demonstrated one of its key and impressive developments for the first time. Although before that, she worked in the robotics industry for more than a decade, focusing on humanoid robots. Intriguing demonstrations have already been seen in the company's portfolio. Emeka is a demo system. She has legs, but they don't move, and the main artificial intelligence technologies are concentrated in the vision system. There is a camera installed in each of her eyes. They track and recognize people, monitor their faces and other objects at a distance of up to two meters. Another high resolution camera is mounted on the chest the entire set of cameras is used to assess the gender, emotions, and age of the person in front of the robot. Smart software reads emotions on a person's face, fear, anger, surprise, and many others. Amica caused a real fear roar at the CES exhibition in Las Vegas at the beginning of the year. Crowds of people wanted to look at the very emotional robot from the internet who played a whole production on the video on awareness of himself and his existence. The Ameca cranial box consists of 17 motors, which create a kind of magic of the robot's facial expressions. Together with the movements of the shoulders and arms, this creates a wide gradation of emotions that the robot can demonstrate. There is anger among them. However, it was not possible to find a demonstration of this emotion on the video. It is present only in the booklet. Another interesting detail about this robot. It runs on a Tritium cloud system. Clients can connect to the system via a web browser from any device connected to the internet, and already in the system it is possible to maintain, update, and configure the robot one of the functions is the ability to speak remotely through a robot. Using the built-in cameras and microphones, you can control the robot's gaze, enter into a conversation through it, and demonstrate emotions. For advanced users, it is possible to use the Python programming language to create their own control functions and routines for the robot. Engineered Arts has been developing humanoid robots for almost 15 years. Their first notable development was Robotaspian. You probably subconsciously remember this plastic illuminated face with two LED screens instead of eyes. Quite a cute robot which, however, by today's standards, is not anything outstanding. He has a torso, arms and fingers, a head and jaw that mimic human gestures. Later, this model had a version with a face projected using a Pico projector, which was animated in real time. Over the years, various modifications of this robot have sold 120 copies in 27 countries around the world. In 2018, Engineered Arts introduced robots that didn't look like robots at all rather like quite real people. They turned out to be extremely realistic, but it is worth looking at them more closely as we see that these are not people at all. This subconsciously causes a person a feeling of anxiety and sometimes even disgust and horror. The same phenomenon of the Sinister Valley, which was first described by Japanese roboticist Masahiro Mori back in the 1970s, Mori noticed that people find robots more attractive when they look like a human. However, it worked only up to a certain point. When robots turned out to be too similar to humans, they experienced feelings of anxiety and discomfort, and sometimes fear. Some associate the sinister valley effect with biology. Others see it as cultural prerequisites. Mori himself believed that the effect could be related to evolutionary factors. A person's reaction to a potential threat of death or illness. Something similar to a person, but not at all alive. As if he had encountered something dead or dying. 
A human and a robot are two completely different, even mutually exclusive categories. And when one approaches the point where the boundary is blurred, there may be a feeling of cognitive dissonance which, in turn, turns out to be a trigger for psychological discomfort. Something that looks like a person, in reality, gives itself away by behavior alien to a person, and it can be scary. Take a look at this Clio demo robot from the new generation of Mesmer. Above, we quoted representatives of engineered arts. In the case of a mecca, from the point beyond which the ominous valley begins, the developers decided to take a step back. A mecca resembles a human in general terms, but a robot is easily guessed in it. Having deprived the robot of an external resemblance to a human, she was given an imitation of emotions. On the one hand, it worked well on the perception of a makeup. She's not as scary as the previous dolls from engineered arts. On the other hand, these emotions, even if so convex and clearly expressed, subconsciously endow the robot with humanity. Not external, but internal. Yes, Everyone understands that these emotions are programmed, just scripts that pull the robot's facial motors in the correct sequence. But why endow a machine with a perfect imitation of emotions? An exclusive quality inherent in people through which we read each other, develop affection, or develop affection or dislike. It is easier to include a robot with emotions in a community of people but these emotions will be a programmed dummy and in most cases will be aimed at satisfying a person and putting him in a comfort zone. Why should a robot demonstrate emotions? To replace a person with live communication, won't this turn out to be another form of escapism in which a satisfying imitation replaces an imperfect and imperfect living world? Warm pins that immerse you in a veil of relaxation and tranquility, shielding you from the imperfections of the real world and its problems in communication with others. The culture of rejection, of public life, and social isolation in Japan, a country running ahead of the whole planet, demonstrates the kind of social disunity a developed society can face. You can easily imagine Haikikomori and Otaku, whose only interlocutors will be humanoid robots with humanoid emotions. But of course, we are not going to slide into ludism. We remain techno-optimists and believe that technology only improves our way of life and gives hope for a bright future in which all problems will be solved. Can Ameka appear in the homes of ordinary people in the next decade? The creators themselves note that even today, our house is filled with robots and smart mechanisms that make specific tasks better, since they are sharpened for them. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.